Welcome to MusicMoveIt.com. I am Torio, and today I want to talk about are you collecting all of your royalties? I want to thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. If you happen to like this video when it's over, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider. I do videos on music, business, advice, tips, and all kinds of things like that. So I'd really appreciate it. Now let's talk about royalties. Are you getting paid all the royalties you should be? Now, there's a whole bunch of revenue streams for royalties. And we're going to talk about a few of them here. Of course, the first one is mechanical royalties. This is like the easiest one out of all of them because it's generally handled by your distributor. So if you're with DistroKid, if you're with CD Baby, or if you're with TuneCore, they are handling the collection of mechanical royalties. A mechanical royalty is basically when someone buys your song or buys your album to download through like Apple or through um, Amazon things like that, or if you have physical CDs in stores and someone buys one of those, that's a mechanical royalty. Now, they're collected by your distributor and they pay them out to you. That's the easiest one, simplest one. Now, there are also sync licensing royalties as well. And you get paid when or if your song is used or synced with a movie or if it's a commercial, anything like that, if it's synced to some type of media like that you will get royalties from that. There are places that will collect them for you. And there are also places that you can contract with and they will take your music and search for ways to, for it to be synced and movies or whatever. And they split the royalties with you basically. So that's another one if you want to pursue that. Now let's get to performance royalties. There's two main ones. Now one of them is you get through joining Sound Exchange. They collect royalties for like digital radio, things like Pandora or like Spotify radio or Apple radio, things like that. And they collect money on those types of things. And you get your royalties. You got to go to soundexchange.com, make sure you list all your songs with them. It's very easy to do as well. Now, other performance royalties, of course, are what you would get through ASCAP or BMI and those are pretty easy as well. You just got to make sure you're a writer, publisher, at whichever one you pick. You can only hook up with one of them, whether it be ASCAP or BMI or CSAC if you're out of the country. And they will collect the royalties whenever you are played. Any kind of like performance such as on a radio or live performances at clubs, jukebox, all that good stuff is a performance. And royalties need to be collected by that. And they will collect it for you and they will pass on the royalties to you. So in general, it's not that hard to think about. So when you release your album or you release a single, let's go over one by one real quick again. You publish your song through your distributor for the mechanical royalties, they'll take care of that. Then you register the same song or album with Sound Exchange for their performance royalties on digital radio type situations. Then register the same song with your performance right organizations such as ASCAP, and BMI. And then, of course, if you want to go the route of licensing for um, sync licensing, rather, or, or license it to a movie or a commercial or whatever, then you got to go out and contract with a company that does that for you. Now, there is also sheet music. And you, if, unless you're a pretty big mega star, you don't really have to worry about sheet music because you, you do get royalties from that as well. But it's mainly for mega artists that have like top 10 songs. You, they get paid these royalties because people want to buy the sheet music. Say they play piano and this guy wants to learn how to play the number one hit right now. So you, he could go buy the sheet music for it and he could play it on the piano. Or piano teachers buy it so their students can play these songs. And each time someone buys the sheet music for wh whatever the instrument may be, the artist gets a royalty for that as well. So, but like I said, a lot of those just, it's not really luc lucrative unless you have a top 10 hit or something like that on your, under your belt. So, <laughs> but yeah, so these are the royalties you should be receiving and how you should be collecting them. So I hope you liked this quick video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to look down below in the description. There are tons and tons of things that could help your music career. There's discounts on services such as TuneCore. If you need that digital distribution, TuneCore is where it's at. Same thing with DistroKid. There's a, 
uh, percentage off on that. Use the links below to get those. There's ebooks you could download on music business, all kinds of stuff that can help you out. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you next video.